keeping on going with the swatch. I'm just keep on making the swatch bigger here. I have no idea why I swatched them down there. It was like they got the secondary spot. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday Favorites and Foodies for you today, and I was trying to think about like an overall theme, and I really don't think there's one this week. I think it was more just about like the products that I was grabbing for that I was really, really loving. So I have some definite favorites this week, but they don't necessarily all fall under like one umbrella or color group or theme or anything like that. It's just kind of a hodgepodge. If anything, maybe like I don't know, bright and girly, something like that. I was wearing this makeup look a lot this week, so a lot of what I'm gonna talk about is on my face, which happens a lot in Friday Favorites. So anyway, let's get to the favorites. I really need to film another haul and PR type video because I've been getting some goodies in the mail lately, which I never take that for granted. It always makes my day. And I'm just so thankful for brands that send me things and then allow me to share my honest opinions, good or bad. And I feel like these brands do that. So got sent some things this week that I've been really loving. And one of them was from Pixie. I think they actually sent this to me a couple weeks ago. It's their holiday collection. And I played with it once that first week, really liked it, but I really dove into it this week and I brought it on my trip and it was like perfect for, it was like a little kind of like Christmassy themed trip and this was like their holiday collection. So it just kind of like fit all that. And the palette I'm about to show you is like perfect for travel. But first off, I'm gonna talk about this. There's a plane going overhead. I think it's pretty much past. So this is the Pixie by Petra. Fairy Dust Favorites Metallic Warmth, and it's a stack of pigments. This is so pretty. Like, even just looking at the little stack just makes me happy because it looks bright and fun and just colorful and creative, and I just love it. So, I haven't played with these two at the bottom, so I'm not sure about those yet, but I'm sure they'd be really nice. But I have played with these at the top, and this one right here, the second one, is absolutely my favorite. That's what I have on my eyes right now. And it's just this beautiful coppery color. The other two are really, really gorgeous too, but this is the one that I kept grabbing for. And every time I put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. It's so pretty and bright. So it's like a golden, coppery, bright sort of a shade. It's amazing. Let me get a little bit more. Now I applied it with MAC Fix Plus. I just found it easier to apply um, and it also oh dear I like totally went overboard with putting my finger in there to swatch that but that's okay that's okay so it's really really pretty dry like that but using it with MAC fix plus you can see what it looks like on my lids it just really brings out the metallic finish to it and I found that with all three of the stacks not stacks all three of the pigments those top three colors I found that applying them um, with some kind of a mixing medium, you know, like Fix Plus, really just like intensifies them and brings out the metallic sheen to them. And then you don't get like as much, you know, pigment going everywhere because pigments are a little bit more high maintenance to work with. So I like to use them with MAC Fix Plus. It just makes it easier. But so, so pretty. So I'm loving that stack. So the other thing that I brought with me, which is perfect for traveling, is this palette. This is the... Rosy Radiance palette and I do have what do I have on I have the contour color um, in the crease um, on my eyes and then I have it as my bronzer I have a little bit of this blush but then I also have another blush I'm about to share with you so I have a little bit of that and then I have a little bit of this glow on oh my goodness this is so pretty and then I have one of the brow hues I have which one do I have which one do I what am I wearing this brow hue, this one at the bottom, I have that in my outer corner. So, I mean, you can wear this a million different ways. This is just so versatile, literally perfect for traveling. I mean, if you're going to be doing some holiday traveling, this is so great. And my favorites from this palette are definitely the face products. I like the eye products and I think they're nice, but I'm not as wowed by those as I am the face products. The face products I'm like in love with like that right there like that highlight right there that's amazing that is so pretty and even the bronzer like it looks like it would be pretty shimmery and kind of hard to pull off but i mean that's all i've got on today i don't have another like matte bronzer or anything i think it's perfect but my favorite thing from the palette has got to be that highlighter i mean 
It's so pretty. And it just has that like bright girly look to it. Like almost like, I don't know. I feel like this whole look together, like this collection had a very kind of like sugar plum fairy kind of a holiday feel to it. So pretty. I just, I'm really, really enjoying it. And if you're looking for a good palette for traveling, this is perfect. Like I was super excited about it when I first got it, but then I was really, really excited to bring it on a trip just because it's a great palette for traveling. I love palettes that are like all in one things for traveling. And for what, some weird reason, it makes me really excited when I like get out all my like travel-y type palettes. It's like all part of the traveling experience. You know what I mean? Are y'all like that? Let me know. The other blush that I was loving this week is this one from Merle Norman. This is part of their winter collection. I'm loving all these like holiday winter collections. It's just fun and it makes me feel festive and it's just exciting. So this is the Lasting Cheek Color in Bombshell. I love Merle Norman blushes. I feel like they are an underrated product and they are such nice quality. So I have a little bit of this on today with the Pixi products. This is just a beautiful, like glowy, well, like a satiny sort of a plummy blush. It's so pretty and it, well, I don't feel like in the swatch, it, I see as much as of the like slight um, satiny glow to it, but I feel like when I get it on my cheeks, I see more of that. But I guess, I mean, I guess I can see it a little bit in the swatch, but I was wearing it with the Pixi products. So I mean, it definitely, you know, could have been more of that glow, but I still see a little bit in the swatch, but it does have a little bit of a glow. Just something to like not make it look so flat, you know what I mean? And it's just a really pretty, kind of girly, pinky mauve. It's so beautiful. The reason I love these blushes, I think the packaging is really nice. Like it feels weighty and well-made and just like a nice quality makeup item, but also it has like a really nice texture to it. It's like buttery. And it's one of those blushes like the um, Clinique Cheek Pops where it doesn't stick on your skin. It just blends really nicely. So they're easy to work with, but they're pigmented and they wear well. They're just great quality. So I think that this one is a limited edition color. So if you are interested in it, I would go grab it because I'm pretty sure it's only in this winter collection from what I can remember. So on to lips, I definitely have to mention this product. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints and this is in 310 Topless. I mentioned this recently in a What's New at the Drugstore video, which I'm working on a second one. I'm still kind of like hunting things down and trying out products. So another one will be coming soon, but I mentioned this one in that video and I just think it's such a cool color. Like this is like edgy, fun color at the drugstore. Like if you like edgy, fun, kind of different sort of makeup, I'm, I'm just keeping on going with the swatch. I'm just keep on making the swatch bigger here. I don't know why, but trying to make a rectangular shaped swatch just keeps getting to be a bigger swatch. So there's the big old swatch there of Topless. Um, it's just something funky and edgy. So I love the color of it. It's that like kind of gray, purpley, taupey sort of a shade. But I really do like this product. Like it reminds me a little bit of the um, Maybelline Color Jolts, but in an infallible version. You know what I mean? Like those, what I didn't like about those is that I was just afraid it was gonna move everywhere and they do move because they're a paint and they're that like lip lacquer kind of a product. And this is too, but I didn't find this moving as much on me. I didn't find it bleeding. I didn't get it all over my teeth. A little bit on my teeth, just a little bit on my teeth, but not like all over my teeth. You know what I mean? So I like that this one is still that same kind of a paint, really high pigment sort of a product, but it seems like it moves less than the color jolts. It's pricier though, but even the color jolts were pricey. For what, for how, well, I haven't compared like the size of like how much you get in it, but those were around seven or eight dollars, I think, and this is around 10. So a little bit more, but the container looks like it's bigger, but I haven't actually compared like the ounce size. So I don't know, maybe kind of comparable. Anyway, it's around $10, but it's a great product. This also came in that box from Pixi. This is their Matte Luster Lipstick in Classic Red. And this is something that really surprised me. First off, I like the packaging of it. 
It's cute that you have the color at the bottom there and it says, you're probably not gonna be able to see it there, but it kind of like, yeah, no, probably not. But it really lightly says pixie, which is cute. So anyway, I got it in the box and I was like, oh yeah, your red lipstick. I like red lipstick. But when I went to wear it, I love this red lipstick. And I'll tell you why. I feel like it's a low maintenance red lipstick and it's a really super versatile kind of red lipstick like I first started putting it on and if you lightly apply it you're gonna get just kind of like a sheer not really sheer but a lighter sort of um, amount of red so if you're scared of a red lipstick I think this would be a great one to start with because it just starts out kind of subtle but you can build it up to be like that but even being a glossier red lipstick. I didn't find this bleeding. I didn't find it all over my teeth. It just seemed really low maintenance. And when I ate, like it didn't get all over the place. It just kind of like faded away, but in an easy way. I just thought it was great. Really, really comfortable on the lips. Does it have a smell? No, just maybe a very, very faint waxy smell. But I mean, it's really like I gotta practically stick that sucker up my nose to smell it to smell that so I would say no scent to it <laughs> but it's just such a nice lipstick I mean I thought I would like it but after wearing it and I brought this out of town with us so this was kind of like my holiday red lip that I was wearing it just was perfect for out of town like it just I threw it in my purse I wore it pretty much every I think I wore it every day when we were out of town yeah I think I wore it every day maybe not like half the last day but every other day that we were out of town. Anyway, that doesn't matter. It's a great lipstick. If you're looking for a low maintenance red lipstick, I think you'd really like this one. This was definitely the week of just trying products. This was another one that I really, really loved. I've mentioned these before on my channel, but not this specific shade. I got this little box from Octoly in the mail. This is the Mali H3 Lip Gloss Trio, and it comes with Orchid Berry, Perfect Nude and Tea Rose. I'll swatch the other ones for you in just a second, but this was definitely the standout for me. This is what I'm wearing right now, and I stink and love it. Like, it's just the most easy, everyday kind of lip gloss color. This is gonna go with everything. This is work appropriate. This is throw it in your purse, and it's gonna work for everything. It's not sticky. I love the sheen to it. Let me just show you before I keep just babbling on about it. So it is like a light pinky rosy color. It's so pretty. I feel like in the container it looks, and online, it looked like it was going to be darker, but I love the color that it is. I'm glad it's not darker. I'm glad that it's the color that it is. It's like that everyday pinky shade, but it's got that sheen to it and just a little bit of like I don't want to say metallic, but almost a metallic look on the lips. And with like the face products from Pixie, from that Pixie palette, oh my gosh, like they just go so perfectly together. Doesn't it have like that sugar plum fairy kind of a look? I don't know. That's what I think of. Like it's kind of bright and kind of girly, but just beautiful. This would be like really pretty summer and spring makeup too, but just love it. So yeah, that was that one. So that was definitely the standout from the trio that I got. Let me show you the other two shades. So here are the other two shades. I have no idea why I swatched them down there. It was like they got the secondary spot. <laughs> I guess because they weren't the standout favorite for me. So that one is T-Rose. That's the standout favorite for me. This one is um, Perfect Nude. And then the last one over there, that is Orchid Berry. These are just like beautifully pigmented glosses. They don't feel sticky. They're just super comfortable. They kind of remind me of the Sephora glosses, the Sephora collection glosses, but I would say slightly less sticky than the Sephora ones. So they probably might not stick around quite as long as those do, but less sticky feeling. So this little set looks like you get all three of them for $25 is what the little tag says. So that's nice and the little box is cute too. And lastly, this is something that I don't normally mention in my Friday favorites. Usually I wait for hair care favorites until the end of the month for my monthly favorites, but I did get this from Octoly and they asked for you to share your thoughts, either good or bad within a certain amount of time. So I've had this for a little bit, so I wanted to go ahead and share my thoughts with you guys. And my thoughts are, I really like this dry shampoo. And I almost kind of wish I didn't because I don't normally buy higher end hair care. 
just not very often. Like normally I'm more of a drugstore hair care product type person, but this is really, really good. This is the Kenra Volume Dry Shampoo and it says Oil Absorbing Shampoo, Volume 25's new best friend. This is so good. Like I'd heard good things about Kenra and specifically like their volumizing products. Um, don't they have like a volumizing hairspray or something like that? which I may need to try that because I love me some hairspray. Y'all know that if you've seen my empties, I love hairspray, but I also love dry shampoo. So anyway, I've heard good things about Kenra, saw this on there and was really excited to try it. What this reminds me of is the Bumble and Bumble Preta powder, which that was a game changer for me. Like before that product, I pretty much just washed my hair every single day and couldn't really get into dry shampoos, but because that one was a volumizer and a dry shampoo, I felt like that is what really changed the game. And I feel like that, this is like that. Like it's basically like a spray version of the Preta powder to me. But maybe, well, maybe Preta powder has a little bit more tackiness to it because I think it has like a texturizing product in it too. This doesn't have that same kind of texture to it, but it definitely absorbs the oil and gives the volume. Like even today, first day hair, I put it like right at my roots just to give me a little bit of volume. And I feel like it totally did that. Now it will give you a white cast if you use it too close to your scalp or use too much. So I would say keep it back, but even like I still get it up there. I still get the white cast, but I just rub it in. I don't know. Sometimes I like to see that in there because I can like feel like I know what I'm like where I'm putting it, but that's probably just me being weird and I have blonde hair, so it's not as big of a deal if I get a little bit of a white cast. But just an FYI, it does do that a little bit. That was a very long tangent to say I really do like this product. I think it's a really nice dry shampoo and I would say top five if not top three that I've ever tried. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.